we will learn log division. Okay. On the board, I have an example. Seven divide seven hundred and thirty six by eight. So this is I am dividing this number with a single digit. So seven hundred and thirty six, which is the dividend, should be written inside, and eight should be written outside. Right. So because this is seven hundred and thirty six divided by eight. Now see here in this place. I have seven, and I am div the divisor over here is eight. The I can't take only seven because seven is less than eight. So I need to consider first two digits. So seventy three I need to take. So I need to read up eight table till I get seventy three. All the number which is nearer to seventy three, right? So eight ones are eight, and so on. If I read eight nines are is seventy. Two, which is a nearer number. So nine times I will write in the question, and here I will write seventy two. Now I need to subtract. Why I am subtracting? Because division is repeated subtraction. Now three minus two is one. Seven minus seven is zero. Right? Seven minus seven is zero. Now I need to bring down this number over. Here, right now, the new number which I have is sixteen. So sixteen. How many times there is going eight? I need to check, or else I need to take a nearer number. So in eight, two times it is sixteen. So eight twos are the sixteen. So again, I need to subtract. Then six minus six is zero. One minus one is zero. So the remainder is zero. So this is how you do long division using the single digit number, right? Single digit. Now, I need to verify from this whether my answer is correct or not, right? So this is what children. This is question. This is dividend. This is divisor, and this is the remainder. You already know that, right? So for verification, I will be using this. Dividend is equals to Quotient into divisor plus remainder. So what is the dividend? It is seven thirty six, which should be equal to right quotient. What is the quotient? It is ninety two into what is the divisor? It is eight, and what is the remainder? Here it is zero. So now, the what does it imply? Ninety two into eight. You need to do children. Eight twos are sixteen. One carry. Uh, nine eights are seventy two plus one. It is seventy three. So when I multiply the quotient and the divisor, which is ninety two into eight, I am getting the product as seven hundred thirty six. Right? I am not adding anything because it is zero. So this is nothing but the dividend. So I got both dividend and when I do the product of quotient. Divisor and adding it to the remainder and getting the same answer, right? So thus, my answer or my 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 division is correct. This is how you verify. Now I will be taking one more example for clear understanding. Now, children, I have one more example on the board. It is divide seven thousand five hundred and seventy-two by seventy-two. Okay. In previous in the previous example, the number which we are dividing or the, the number which divides or the divisor is single digit number, but here I have Two digits. Now seven five seven two is divided by what? Seventy two, right? So I'm for I need to consider first two digits. A single digit cannot be divided by the two digit number, right? So I'll be considering first two digits seventy five. So seventy five uh, will be coming only one time, which is a nearer number seventy two. So seventy two one times is seventy two, which is a nearer number to seventy five. I'll subtract it, right? So five minus two is how much? Three. Seven minus seven is how much? Children, it is zero. Now I need to bring down this number seven over here. But children, see the divisor is greater than this number, right? So as the divisor is greater than this number, I cannot divide, or I don't. I will not get a value in the in the table multiplication table seventy two. That's the reason I need to get down, get down one more number, two over here, so that I can do the further division. 
as I am bringing down one more number in the same same step, right? So how many numbers I am bringing down? Two numbers, right? Seven and then again two. So I need to keep a zero in the quotient. Okay, whenever I am bringing two times num two numbers at a time, I need to keep a zero in the quotient. Do you all remember it? In the previous classes we have learned it. So I need to keep a zero in the quotient and then do the multiplication. The, I do the division. Okay. In 72 table, I need to check whether will I get or not 372. If not, I need to take a nearer member. So, in the multiplication table of 72, 5 times I will be getting a nearer number which is 360. So, 105. 5 times, right? 5 times of 72 is nothing but 360. Now, I need to do the subtraction. 2 minus 0 is nothing but 2. 7 minus 6 is nothing but 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, for me the remainder is 12. The quotient is 105. Right? Now, I will verify whether my long, long division is correct or not. To verify it, we have this verification statement. Dividend is equals to quotient into divisor plus remainder. Now, what is the dividend children? It is 7572. 7572 is the dividend. So, this should be equal to what the part of the quotient and divisor added by the remainder. So, we see whether I get both sides equal or not. So, the quotient is what? 105. And the divisor is what? 72. And the remainder is what? 12. Now, when I multiply the quotient and the divisor, which is 105 into 72, I get 7560. Children, I am writing it directly, but you need to do it in the rough column. And I am adding the remainder, which is 12. Okay? So, when I add this, I will be getting 2 plus, 0 plus 2, which is 2, 6 plus 1, 7, and 5, and 7. So, see, here I got the dividend again. So, seven, dividend is equal to both sides, it is the same number, right? Thus, my long division is correct. Now, we will be taking one more example for your better understanding. Now, children, I have one more example on the board. For long division, it is divide 6650 by 175. You, you can observe that now I have taken the divisor a three digit number, right? Previously, it was two digit and a single digit number. But now, it is a three digit number. So, I need to consider the first three digits because it is a three digit divisor. I cannot consider one or two digits for uh, division. So, I will consider the first three digits. That is 6, 6 and 5. So, in the table, multiplication table of 175, I will have a nearer number 3 times of 175 which is 5, 2, 5. Okay, I will be subtracting the number now. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 2 is how much children? After 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. And 6 minus 5 is 1. I will be getting this 0 down. So now I have the number 1400. So I will be, you know, reading out the multiplication table of 175 and I will be checking whether I will have the exact number or else a nearer number. Okay? In the table of 175, for 8 times, I have 1400. Okay, 175, 8 times is 1400. So, directly I will be subtracting now. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, the remainder is 0. Now, I will be verifying whether my quotient, my reminder, my divisor and dividend all are correct or not. Now, dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. What is the dividend children? It is 6650. Okay, is equal to what is quotient into divisor? What is the quotient for me? It is 38. And the divisor is 175. But remainder is 0. For me, the remainder is 0. Right, children? Now, when I multiply 38 and 175, I will be getting that in that word 6650, which is nothing but the division. So, my answer is correct for the long division. So, 
So this is how you do long division for a two digit number, three digit number and a single digit number. There is an exercise following to this and some more examples in your textbook. Please go through them children step by step and do practice.